New video from Texas DPS shows another bust of the border. Illegal immigrants seen hiding under hay bales in the back of a truck. This, as we learn, people are creating phony families to enter. So what can be done to stop the surge? Former DHS Acting Deputy Secretary Ken Cuccinelli joins us now. Ken, thanks for being here this morning. So we're seeing, especially with morning. Brazilians, for some reason we're seeing an uptick in this. Thousands of Brazilian children basically being rented um, to create phony families. So maybe the mom right. comes with the with the child, and then a man pays her off to rent her child, so they look like they're a family, because that way they can stay here. I mean, why do we still have laws that encourage this kind of? It's clearly dangerous for the child. Uh, it is dangerous for the child. I mean, we've had statistics for years that yes. not just the child, women in particular as well, they're, they're molested or assaulted, 30% of them on the way up in this journey. Um, and look who's running the pipeline. It's cartels and coyotes and, and gangs. Um, and they're making more money, arguably, off the human trafficking coming across our border now mm -hmm. than they are with drug trafficking. So they will play any game they can, and this is dangerous for the children. Um, and the only you're not going to stop it until there's an announced intent that anyone believes to stop the flow across the border. But the president has an open borders policy. I mean, they still show up with Joe Biden for president T-shirts. And um, that is that yeah. is step one. Yeah, I so I, I still can't we're believe a long way from that. No, I know. But I, I you know, it's so cruel to children. It's so outrageous it for is. government to be complicit in the child sex trade and all the things that are happening because of this policy. I'm just surprised they haven't been held more to account for that. Um, you know, other than this network, it's just not happening. I want to move to another topic, and that is that new CBP right. data reveals that 69 um, uh, are on the yeah. FBI's terror watch list have been caught, 69 right. uh, terrorists. Um, that's set to break the record already. We're on pace to break the record from last year of almost right. 100. Um, 98, I believe, was the number. Uh, what do you make of this, especially as we know that ISIS is reconstituting? We just thwarted an ISIS attack um, just this week on our own soil. So first of all, um, we'll all ask the big question, how many didn't we catch? Right. And again, with this open borders policy, um, the, the goal for these kinds of people crossing the border is to avoid the border patrol, and yet 69 were caught. And remember, the Border Patrol, as we heard testimony from the, from the chief this week, is overwhelmed. They have not secured the border, contrary to Mayorkas's uh, constant refrain, but the people actually responsible for it telling the truth to Congress yeah. that the border is not secure. This is going to have consequences for years into the future. And I would note that even Democrat voters haven't supported Joe Biden's open borders policy literally for two years, almost since its implementation. And um, so this is not a mainstream, even Democrat um, policy that they're implementing. This is a radical left wing erase our borders policy. And I hope that the now bare majority of Republicans in the House are able to make a dent in it, because as you note, our security is at risk. This is the kind of record you don't want to set. Purdue set one yesterday, the second number one seed to ever lose to a 16. Those are the kinds of records you don't want to set. In the security arena, it's the new record for terrorists crossing the border. And Joe Biden holds the record. Yeah, I think all that Congress can do, Ken, is just shine a light on it. Um, there's not really not much they can do to stop this, or else they would have. Unfortunately, I think probably the only thing that will cause a rethinking on the part of the Democrats will be a terrorist attack. And we certainly have all the makings yeah. for that to happen with these record numbers we of do. terrorists coming across our border. Ken, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to be with you. Okay. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.